I'm Justin Pritchard. This is the Durango RT with the new Tow & Go package. It's an interesting combination of hardware, especially if you're after something with an athletic driving experience and top of the line towing capacity. In this video, we'll take a look at what that hardware is and what it means for how this drives. It's not far off from a Hellcat starting in your driveway. Poke the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 in the Durango RT Tow & Go into action with the red starter button, and a deep, building-penetrating bark explodes from the tailpipes before setting into a deep and pulsating idle that's anything but discreet. This hilarious exhaust system has a snarl that responds and morphs with your throttle inputs, and it accentuates many gear shifts with a loud snap from the tailpipes. It's silly, but it's a lot of fun. Ticking the tow and go box on your Durango RT all wheel drive adds about 5,500 Canadian dollars to its sticker in exchange for a performance enhanced version of the Durango RT that gets significant upgrades to its looks, handling, and towing capacity. Standard Durango RT all-wheel drive models can tow 7,400 pounds. The Tow & Go package bumps that figure to an unbeatable 8,700. There's also a top speed boost, drive modes for track, snow, towing and sport, and a complement of onboard performance meters and displays. A new electronic limited slip differential and active damping suspension system are bolted up, with 20-inch wheels bolted on and red SRT Brembo brake calipers peeking out from behind. There's a good inch or so of dead space at the top of the brake pedal's travel. And what that means is that while these brakes are powerful and have deep reserves of stopping force, you do need a good bit of leg muscle, a good bit of pedal to get those calipers initially clamping. And so if you prefer a sportier brake pedal feel with a more hair trigger reaction, uh, that's not what you're gonna find here. Of course, it's the other pedal where the Durango does its best work. Elsewhere, it's an 8-speed automatic with paddle shift, all-wheel drive, and the new front end and hood that feature SRT body parts for optimized cooling and air induction of the Hemi V8. After 1,200 kilometers of testing for various assignments, I came away the most impressed with the Durango RT Tow & Go's suspension system. Unlike conventional springs, the adaptive dampers on the Tow & Go are alive and intelligent. With the ability to actively control their springiness with high precision in response to the road surface, this suspension all but annihilates unwanted body motions. By triggering changes to damper response in real time, Durango's body returns to rest almost immediately after even larger bumps. The result is a simple up, down, done body motion as the suspension works actively to eliminate bounce and rebound. This means that the body of the vehicle and therefore its occupants are at rest more of the time and that's a more comfortable ride. It's race car sourced tech that also works wonders for ride comfort and you'll enjoy it on every drive. Thing is, Durango RT Tow & Go's sporty intentions mean it's far from your best pick for the dollar for frequent use on rough roads. Though body motion control is exceptional, impacts from rough road surfaces can cause ride comfort levels and smoothness to fall off sharply on very badly beaten back roads, camp roads, and the like. With its thin sporty tires and athletic suspension system, you'll need to slow way down to keep things smooth when the going gets very rough. This is the bumpiest, roughest road that I have anywhere near me. It's a ride quality exercise that I use in a lot of the crossovers and pickup trucks. And as you're watching this footage of the Durango going down this road, you'll see that even as the wheels are getting impacted fairly severely uh, by the surface of the road, the body of the Durango is only ever just giving me a little bit of a wiggle underneath. So the adaptive suspension is working here to help smooth out the ride, but in this particular setting, it's more about body motion control than all out ride comfort. The point is if you're doing a lot of driving on a really rough surface like this, rural back roads, camp roads and the like, you do definitely have smoother riding options. This will do you just fine. You do just have to keep your speed down and be very reasonable. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be going for uh, a bit of a ride. 
that's no fun. After all, the Durango RT Tow and Go is built to hustle. The sound effects encourage it. The solid build and power and exhaust volume at full throttle are addictive. And in all, the noise and feedback from the Hemi driveline aren't the top choice if you like smooth and quiet, but it all puts on a heck of a show. I think the sports exhaust is kind of the star of the show here because on top of giving you an audio signature that really matches the character of this vehicle, I just love how responsive and animated and alive the sound is in terms of how it responds and changes with your throttle inputs. And that just helps this thing to put on an even better show for you. But it is not quiet and it is not subtle. We're in sport mode here. Let me see if I can give you a little demonstration. Crack the window a bit so you can hear it. That's a good sound. The sporty driving experience is rounded out by special tuning of the suspension, steering, and drive modes. The Durango's size and mass are not trying to hide, rather it's a quick steering feel that provides a good sense of the vehicle's size and weight for drivers to form the basis of their relationship with its handling. From there it generates grins with quick responses, a heavy and locked on feel, and a surprisingly no problem approach to fast corners, on ramps, or your favorite empty back road. It's no Hellcat wide body in the corners, but it is more fun than its massive size probably leads on. And leaving that signature exhaust note in your wake never gets old either. So is this a towing package with handling benefits or a handling package with towing benefits? In any case, it's an interesting equipment combination to be sure, a new take on the Durango that's built to handle and haul but without going full SRT or Hellcat under the hood. Just be sure to consider the Ford Explorer ST as well. Though its 5600 pound towing capacity can't match the Durango RT Tow & Go, its twin turbo V6 is more powerful, faster and easier on fuel. According to NRCAN, the annual fuel costs of the Explorer ST are about $575 less per year than that of the Durango RT. But ultimately, if you're a Mopar fan looking to upgrade from a Hemi Charger or Challenger into something with three seating rows that can haul very heavy stuff, you'll feel right at home with the more entertaining side of this machine's driving experience. Thank you for watching. My name is Justin Pritchard. Until next time, take care and drive safe.